One of the questions we get asked all the time is why do we get into fly tying? We're going to go over a lot of the reasons why we think it's a great thing to get into. For me, when I started uh, fly fishing, one of the things that actually pulled me in almost before I started to pick up a fly rod was the aspect of fooling the trout. It's a thing where you see the trout eat a certain bug um, and that you can actually make a fly that imitates what they're eating or what they're chasing. And then the satisfaction of saying, hey, I caught a fish with that. Um, I had that when I was a teenager. A neighbor tied some flies. We took them up and caught a bunch of fish up in the mountains. It was phenomenal because we, I just felt this connection. It's like something I tricked the fish. And so that's really what got me started. The other side of that was the creative side. So once I started kind of putting together that, uh, the process where you're functionally tying the fly to imitate something, uh, then you get in there and you're tweaking and kind of doing a creative uh, work of art almost in a way because you're you like that what you're doing you're trying to get better at it so i would always look at those aspects of it um, believe it or not even though i'm a propeller head engineer type um, i actually spent a lot of time doing art growing up and so that was a, a thing to me that was very uh, had a big pull for me is that creative side and then that you kind of marry that together with the fact that you're fooling a fish and catching a, a fish on this fly that you made and that you invented or that you tweaked, that, that was huge. My name is Cheech and I tie flies. I've been tying flies for over 20 years. Um, and you know, I started tying flies actually the exact same time I started uh, fly fishing. And so, in my mind, it's it's all about the creativity, you know, being being able to see a bug on the water, look at it, go find a hook, a bead, any type of material you a material you want, put it on that hook, and then you have a fly that's different from anything else that's being fished right now. I think that is pretty cool. The other thing is you can get your fly to look exactly like the bug that you're seeing on the water. You know, something from the factory might not have the color wing you're looking for, or maybe the body's too long. That's that's a really cool part about tying fly. For me, fly tying was an art form. In school, there were two things that I did well, Spanish and art. So I was a, I was a, I was a very artistic guy, I always art in my house, and I when I realized that I literally didn't have any rules, I wasn't ever class taught, you know, on, on how to tie flies. We didn't have awesome YouTube videos, let's put it that way. Super awesome YouTube videos with guys who just know what the heck they're doing. We didn't have that back in the day. So just creating stuff that looked like the bugs on the water was a huge draw for me. I have like a, a studio set up in my house that's just ready to go at any time. Um, there are times where I'll have an idea, it's like three o'clock in the morning, it's from a dream or something. I would go down to the vise, I would tie a fly. Sometimes the next morning I'd come down and it was just terrible and other times they've been really good changes that, that have worked on the fly. The other thing is, as you tie more flies, you get comfortable and you, you kind of know what the properties of all the fly tying materials are. So that helps in the creative process so that you know you can use the minimal amount of materials necessary to create an effective, durable, and all those other good things that you can say about a fly. That's what you want about your fly, okay? Effective, durable, simple to tie, and everybody's gonna want it. When I realized that you could literally create art, put whatever hook you want in your vise, and find whatever material will stay on a hook and put that on there, and that's yours, that's something that you created, that's huge to me. Part of the appeal to fly fishing to me isn't just going out and catching as many fish as I can. A lot of times I have the fly that will work and I'll cut that off and I'll put on my tester flies because it's more rewarding for me to catch a fish with a figment of my imagination than it is with something that's tried and true. Uh, one of the other things that really got me further and further into tying flies was 
Um, whether it was distance from fisheries, uh, for a while I lived in an area that didn't have the greatest trout fishing, or during the winter, there are certain days where, I mean, you can go fishing, but it's just not the best use of your time, let's say. So tying flies can help you extend the hobby into times and places where you normally wouldn't be able to uh, practice fly fishing. And I found that that started to give me more enjoyment because I could tie flies and I could build up some excitement and preparation for a trip that I had coming up. And I could do that at 10 o'clock at night, or I could do that when it's five degrees outside or, or whatever. So it was a, another way to kind of delve into the sport at a much more granular level and <clears throat> enjoy the sport in times where you normally wouldn't be able to. Another part of that would be as I prepared for trips and I would tie flies, I realized that it would get me more and more excited to go on a trip because I knew, if, for instance, if I was gonna find this certain mayfly hatch going on, I would sit there and I would think about that and I would tie flies and think about different aspects of where I'm gonna be fishing, how the water's doing, and just a whole bunch of things that would help kind of stoke the fire for that passion of, of fishing that I liked and kind of build up to that. So I actually found myself enjoying the trips more when I actually went on them because I had invested so much time and energy and excitement into it before I went. One aspect that I think a lot of people don't really think about when they start to get into fly tying is that for a large extent, even though we have like 2000 patterns that we sell in our, our fly shop and on our website online, is that there are a lot of patterns in the bins that are lacking some little aspect, like regionally, you may find a mayfly that's a little smaller, a little bigger, or there could be a stonefly that's a different color. So what you can do is you can kind of look at these base patterns or these types of bugs, and you can inject your own uh, deviation into there or variant so that it's more effective for where you're fishing or for the style of fishing that you're going to do. For instance, if you needed a, a fly that was more buoyant, that get, tying your own flies gives you a huge amount of flexibility when you go to the river or the lake to fish how you want to fish and to kind of tweak that fly to do what you want it to do, to look how you want it to look and to act how you want it to act. Something that you really can't get when you're just choosing from the bins. A big part of being on the water is experimentation. So a lot of times your fly that you bought in the bin at the fly shop is maybe a little bit too big or too small or too dark or too light or, or too heavy or whatever it is. If you tie flies, you can take that experience, go home and tie a fly that's exactly what you think you need. That's a really good way to get more confidence in your fishing and also in your flies. Another really cool part about tying flies is that there are more materials now than there ever were before. This is the good old days of tying flies, okay? There are all kinds of vices, all kinds of tools, different types of dubbings, feathers, hooks, beads, everything you can imagine to put on a hook is available. And you know, that's, that's just an awesome part of tying flies. You can just kind of choose what you like and what brings you happiness and what catches you the most fish and you tie the way you want to. All right, so if you're interested in starting to tie flies, um, my number one recommendation and the thing that I wish that was out there when I started is YouTube videos that are in HD. And it just so happens that we have a whole bunch of them on our channel. So if you wanna learn how to tie flies, watch our videos, and we have a store with over 25,000 different items in it so that you can tie flies with pretty much anything you can imagine.